It's wonderful. I just got here. I haven't seen it, looked around yet, but uh, if it's anything like last year, I'm sure it'll be spectacular. <laughs> My name is Mark Edge. I host a radio show called Free Talk Live. It's Pro Liberty Radio, six nights a week, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., Monday through Saturday. My extreme pleasure to introduce Paymon Montaday. Thank you for that introduction, Mark, and it's my pleasure to be with you all today in New Hampshire, the Free State. Uh, I thought the Free State Project was a great idea when I first heard about it. Um, what I'm going to cover uh, for you today is the lies and deceptions of the IRS and the income tax system. For the first time, she was teaching me, was showing me the, uh, the Constitution or the IRS code, actually what it says. I'll be available, of course, throughout the weekend to answer more questions at the exhibitor hall at the Freedom Law School table. A lot about that. As much as I want to radically 2007 change, NHLA 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 activist of the year, Tyler Stern. Of, uh, state representatives and lobbyists. And I talked to some, some very good state representatives that get you know, amazing leads on the NHLA report card. Good morning here at the Libertarian, uh, Libertarian County Forum. Daniel Imperato, uh, Libertarian uh, Independent President for the United States. Glad to be here. Uh, looks like the forum's getting organized, and I'm here to represent uh, my interest and also to help the state of New Hampshire. And I should say that uh, I'd like to ask all the Libertarians to defend the principles of the party. And remember, the man didn't make the principles, the principles made the man. Thank you very much, Daniel Imperato. Working with the LP panel. I agree with it with these guys that, that where we have common issues with, with single issue groups, we should go for it. We should stand together. If they were not concerned, why would they have? Why would they? Why do they take such great effort to suppress Michael Bernard? I think the perspective in New Hampshire of, of what libertarianism is is pretty accurate. I'm George Phillies, Libertarian for President. I'm running to end the war in Iraq, solve our financial problems, and restore civil liberties. This year, vote Libertarian. It says LFO8 for Liberty Forum 08. Yeah. This is special right here. I did this uh, deliberately just for this event. Uh, and then consider becoming an RCO. And we're looking at for. Uh, attorneys right now for that. Bill Benson in 1984 went to every state in the Union, obtained the certified copies of the legislative journals involving each state's ratification process. He put those documents, uh, condensed them and put them in a book called The Law That Never Was, Volume 1 and 2. Uh, those two books are still available on his website, thelawthatneverwas.com by making a Fifth Amendment argument. In the absence of the Sixteenth Amendment, the tax on your income derived from the sale of your labor is an unapportioned direct tax and is just as unconstitutional today as it was in 1895. Pollock has never been overturned. Bruce Shaver deals with the, what they did in Pollock and the Sixteenth Amendment stops them from doing that anymore if you want to go down that line. There's no 16th Amendment, now there's no longer a prohibition. Government is not the solution. Government is the problem. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, my pleasure to introduce the man behind NeverGetBusted.com, Barry Cooper from NeverGetBusted.com. So after leaving law enforcement and living life and maturing, I realized the harms that I caused on families by breaking into their homes at 3 o'clock in the morning wearing raid gear and carrying machine guns and tossing flash grenades around to terrify and separate the parents from their kids by putting the parents in jail and sending the kids to a state agency. I realized that harm on families was much greater than the harm of just letting them do the drugs. We're making so many bond payments. They didn't have any money for anything else. Panel. So that's why they, the example I like to use is in every town. Uh, that a new bureaucracy of teachers and a new education establishment, a new school system would truly deliver society from all of its ills. 
Scott McPherson from the Future this is what John of Foundation. Got another uh, individual who I will uh, be quoting from heavily today, um, and a personal hero of mine. Uh, this is what he calls the true believers. I will finish up by saying that if we wish to talk about moving liberty forward, which is, after all, the theme of this conference, let us recognize that no free society will ever be possible as long as the government runs the schools. Jim Babka from Downsize DC. Bit wrong. John McCain. Ron Paul. see our legislature pass a law saying that vaccinations are illegal Amen. in New Hampshire, particularly for babies. Amen. And if you think they're good for babies, you haven't done any homework. You wouldn't even, I wouldn't get past summary judgment. Second Amendment panel. We all love our legislators to stop introducing our constitutional bills. That's why we need to elect more legislators who actually believe in the Constitution. Last time the state regulated for, by statute the militia of New Hampshire, the state militia, was 1871. And do you, do you think that uh, um, it needs to be revitalized? At the time of the, uh, uh, our constitu the federal constitution was written, the word reg well regulated did not mean what we think it means now. It did not mean regulated by government. It meant well organized, well disciplined. Around 1900, according to my reading, that the meeting switched over to meant controlled. In fact, in our RSAs in New Hampshire, the state laws, there is a chapter on the militia, on the, militia the state guard. It is under the control of the governor. Uh, it has an adjutant general. It won't um, go any farther than the committee that it was in. Thank you. What sort of organizations, kind of events do you do? So, Mark Edge of Free Talk Live, will you be kind to Liberty Forum on your show? Oh, well, it's, they've been kind to us. Hey, yeah, the Liberty Forums. I, we've had a really great time here. There have been some really dynamic speakers, um, some panels that I've been a part of a discussion on. I've been able to do some emceeing. I've enjoyed it greatly. I don't, I don't, I don't see anything wrong going on here.